But it's worse. It's not just that we're in a crisis now of horrific proportions for five years. It's that this is the second major breakdown of this capitalist system in the last 75 years. The last one was the 1930s. Begins in 1929 and isn't really over until 1940-41. A terrible crisis. And between the end of that one in the 1930s and the beginning of this one in 2007, the National Bureau of Economic Research, which is the official agency that counts crises, counts 11 more, 11 more downturns in which millions of Americans, and I'm not even talking about other countries, lost their jobs, capacity unutilized, output foregone again and again. Crisis is not an occasional interruption. Crisis is part of how this system works. And it always has. As far back as the last 200 years of capitalism, it has a crisis every few years. And it's important to stress this because politicians tend to like, for obvious reasons, to characterize each crisis as if it were a special occurrence. So, for example, every president in the United States since Franklin Roosevelt has, during his tenure as president, had at least one economic downturn. Every one. And every president said, at one point, here are the policies I am proposing, and they have two great qualities. Number one, they will get us out of this crisis. And number two, they will make sure we never have a crisis like this again. Every president promised it. No president has delivered on the promise yet. That tells you something. The system is crisis prone. And that is a very serious defect, to say the least.